It's me Sebastian or Damu. In this video, as promised, I will briefly explain to you how to download a package you purchased at Onto.tv as well as how to unpack your stream overlay package and how to add it to your OBS. Quick disclaimer, this is a short and kind of basic video, but that's on purpose. Why? We don't want to go too much into detail for every element in one video. We're trying to keep the video shorter and have a video for each element provided in our stream overlay package you will find the corresponding video without having to go through two hours of material. That's why we're starting with a lot of basics and not adding all the information. And if you need more details, then you can look for the proper video. I hope you like this system and it helps you. And now let's get to the topic. All right, first you have to visit own.tv. On the top right corner, you click on the account button, you choose my downloads, and you can see here, I bought the Brave Premium package. You can even change the language here if you want to. So I downloaded it in English. Once the download is finished, you will find a zip file in your folder. This is how it looks like. I'm using WinRAR, but you can use any other free software to unzip your package. All you have to do is double click the package, takes a little moment, it will open up, and then this window pops up. And here you find the package. So all you have to do is drag and drop it into the folder of your choice. Wait a little bit, let it unpack. There it is. This is your ready to use Brave Series Premium English folder. The next step is you open your OBS. This is how it looks like if you've never streamed before or haven't set anything up. Everything's empty. We have a basic scene set up here. We're going to rename the scene into starting because we are going to set up our starting banner. And now all you have to do is click on the sources tab on the plus sign, which is add. You add a media source. You name the media source. I'm going to call it starting banner. Now you click on browse. You select the folder that we unpacked before. You open it up. Click on files and now we choose animated intermission banners because again, this is what we're setting up. And here you can see all the available options. I said I'm going to start with a starting screen. So this is what we're going to do. Add in the starting screen. And most importantly, you have to check loop because our files are 15 to 20 second long files and they loop seamlessly so that they can run forever. Otherwise, after the certain time that is set, the file will just stop and the screen is blank again. Okay, and there it is. This is the starting banner. This is how easy you can add our WebM files into OBS. So as you can see, setting up scenes can be quite complex and we're focusing on the basics in this video. But that's why we're going to offer you short videos for each and every element that we offer in our stream overlay package to help you set it up perfectly and work with your stream. No matter if you're using Stream Elements, Streamlabs or Own Pro, we will guide you to get the most out of your beautiful overlays. I hope this video helped you. If you need more assistance, check out our playlist. We try to answer as many questions as possible for each element that we offer in our stream overlay package and the best way to set them up. We're wishing you all the best, many new followers and active chatters, and we hope to see you around. Thanks for watching and good luck.